Hey guys, and today we are going to install Google Apps natively on our PC with Windows 11 without any emulator, the fastest and easiest way that I know. Is that okay for you? Then follow along. Before we begin, don't forget to check out the sponsor of this video, which is BNH Software, a platform that we have been using for the past few months. Easy to purchase keys for Windows 10, Windows 11, and even Office 2021. By any chance, your Windows is still not activated and you want to activate at a budget, BNH Software is one of the reliable sources that I know. Now, first step is to check if we have virtualization enabled on our computer. To do so, let's go to our control panel. And after we go to the control panel, we will select programs and then check if we have the virtualization activated or not. If it is, just leave it as it is. If not, then we will need to activate. Next, we will need to go to our settings and then select privacy and security. And where we see developers, uh, we will need to click there and turn on and then just confirm with the yes. After that, we will need to download GAPS. I will leave a link down below so that you can download. But in case that when you go and do this tutorial, the file is not available anymore, what I would suggest is that you search for the name that I will leave right here on the screen. If you search on Google, you will find probably a newer version of GAPS, which will work as fine as this one that I've got right over here. In case it's still active, then download the file as we have it on our computer. We just need to unzip it and once we have it unzipped we just need to copy and paste on our c drive once we have the folder on our c drive we just need to go to our uh, search right over here and search for powershell and then execute as administrator once we are ready you just need to go down on the description and copy the first line of code that i've got which is not exactly code it's basically cd C, in case that we put the folder on our C drive letter, if you have D or E, then you will just need to change the letter. But basically, C two dots slash W S A dash gap and so on and so forth. Now here, having mind that I will leave down below exactly what you have to paste in case you download the file that I'm using. But if you download a different version, then the numbers will be different. And my suggestion would be just put down CD space C two dots slash and they'll go to your folder that you have. Just copy the name and paste it right over there. So that will be 100% correct. After that, you just need to press enter. And once you press enter, you are ready to copy the second line of code that I will leave down below but basically is set execution policy and so on and so forth just press enter after that uh, we will need to press a to select yes all press enter once again and then uh, copy the line of code that will be down below as well which is dot slash install dot ps1 and press enter once we do that we will see that the operation was concluded successfully and there are two scenarios possible one of which is that the google play store will open automatically and then you are ready to start installing apps and games and so on and so forth the second one which was what happened to me the first time which was to ask me if i wanted to restart my computer now i did restart my computer and then i had to go through the process once again but was really quickly and after that I had the Google Play Store just working as expected. Now the Google Play Store will be seen by the computer as any normal app. We will easily find it here on our start bar on Windows where we have all our apps and then we can drag it and we can create shortcuts and so on and so forth like we do with any other app. By the way, any apps that we install via Google Play Store will be treated the same way. So if we have Asphalt 9, Asphalt Extreme and things like that, then we will have those apps exactly on the same place. So we don't need to open the Play Store to play any of those apps or to open any of those apps. I did try a few. The only one that did not work was Asphalt Extreme. It was giving me a error, but Asphalt 9 and Candy Crush and things like that just worked awesome so this is a great experience now there is one thing that you have to be aware is that if you have um, any issue in terms of wi-fi connectivity on the play store or even on any app 
that might mean that you have your firewall enabled, which is great, but it's blocking some uh, traffic to the apps or to the Play Store itself. Now, disabling the firewall, uh, I would not suggest that, but there is a small tweak that we can do. So if we search for those Defender Advanced Security, uh, once we open it up, we will go to the properties and then customize or personalize and where we see V Ethernet parentheses WSL, we just need to tick it off and then press OK and apply. And after that, we are OK. You can restart the Play Store or restart the app that you are trying to use and bam, that is it. Problem solved and you can enjoy this in a really nice manner. That is it, really, really quickly. Actually, you will take less time installing than I did explaining it. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so don't forget to leave a thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.